What's up? What's up? What's up? Let me know if y'all can hear me out there. Can y'all hear me? Can y'all hear me? We make sure we got the uh the mic right. Let's see, I can see everybody in the chat. What's going on? What's going on? Hope everybody is doing well. Peace and blessings on the Friday night. I'm just making sure I got the chat up, man, and we'll we'll jump on in. What's going on? What's up, Jake? What's going on? What's going on? What's good with y'all? How y'all doing? Thanks for stopping through the stream. Hope everything is good. Hope y'all doing well. Can y'all hear me all right? Let me see. Look, I'm trying to find this chat window properly. Hey, what's up, Marquez? What's going on? What's going on? Welcome to the stream. Welcome to the stream. All right. I should be able to see this chat window a little better once I um get to the lake. All right, cool, cool, cool. Are any of y'all on Fishing Planet? Are y'all just chilling? You on any games tonight? Are y'all just kicking back, you know, relaxing? Like, what game you on right now? What game are you on right now? Are you on Fishing Planet with me? Okay. That's cool. That's cool. Okay, here we go. There go my chat. There go my chat. Look, I was looking for that. Okay. Oh, you say you just finished playing Mafia 2? Okay, yeah. <laughs> hey, that Buffalo spot still is doing well. That Buffalo spot still works. I had to test it out myself just to make sure that it's still working, but it is good. Yeah, Mafia 2. I hadn't played the Mafias in a long time. On my channel, I went through all of Mafia 3. Um, if you look on my you got to search it. It's, it's old, you know, when it came out a while back. When it first dropped, I went through the entirety of Mafia 3. I enjoyed it. It was good. And then um, I, I also had Mafia 1 and 2, but I didn't go through all of those. I kind of got them late after they were already out. But that is what's up. Hey, um, y'all let me know, again, I, I've been streaming Fishing Planet, but if you want to see any other games, um, I got some new games I want to play. It's a game called Green Hell I was real interested in. I bought it already, and I'm planning on doing like a series, and I'll probably do like a reasons why you should play it, because it looks really good. 15 in an hour, wow. Goodness. That's what's up. You got 15 of them buffaloes. Hey, that's good. Get your XP up. Get your level up. That is awesome. Uh, look, I'm really, really glad to know that it is working and it's still helping. But, yeah, if y'all want to see any other games, again, I play a lot of survival simulator type games. Let me know. And, um, you know, I play some, some other games. Well, I'm going to play them. As you see, I have them on the channel, but I'll stream some other games. Yeah, just let me know. I decided to come to Mudwater. I was at uh, White Moose Lake, but um, some people were asking about catfish and catching some other fish in some of these other lakes. So I said, let me, you know, head here. And um, I actually haven't been here in a while. So, you know, get my 
get my bearings at this lake. So what I'm going to do, actually, let me jump back here, show you what I'm working with. I got my Bass Caster 7 foot 10 inch, the Council of 3500. I got the Comcast 7 foot 3 and the Cyclone 6500 for the reel. I just bought this one. This is a 55 pound a 55 pound test or you know, 55 pound uh drag and everything with this. So it's very heavy. It can capture some very heavy, but you need a very heavy lure to use it properly or it doesn't cast that far. But I'm also going to use, I have an 11 pound, uh, this is my match ride, but I'm going to use the 22 pound Phoenix 14. And then I have a seven pound feeder, but I'm going to use my 20 pound, it's 19.5 pound uh, Big Ali. I plan to upgrade my match ride and my feeder ride to about 50 pounds as well. That's what I'm saving up to do. But, of course, I'm not going to really make that money at this lake because this lake, you know, isn't an earner like that. But um, it's definitely fun catching those catfish, right? It's definitely fun catching those catfish. So, yeah, I've been... Uh, I've been catching the catfish, and, and Patty, let me know what you use to catch your catfish here at Mudwater. I've been using blood. I actually have another. I got a video. It was another one. It was like bread or something like that that I would use. But um, I've just been using these, this blood, testing this out. That's been working pretty well on the match rod and the feeder rod. pull my feeder i've been using blood on both you know a lot of times i will switch up and use different types of uh, bait different types of you know switch it up so they're not the exact same but either way it's gonna be good actually i'm gonna go with this one then one oh look at that we got a hit already we got a hit already one other thing I was doing, I've been trying to spin fish for catfish. You actually can spin fish and catch catfish. It's just a little harder. It doesn't work as well, but you can catch catfish spin fishing. I don't think, okay, leeches. I'll try leeches. I got us a trophy black bullhead to start out. Nice. Oh, and my feet are going off. And my feet is going off. This is a good start right here. This is a good start. I don't think it's cross-play just yet. I hope they do it because the fact that Fishing Planet is on all these different systems and consoles, they definitely should add cross-play. All right, cool. We got two good hits, two trophies back-to-back -back starting out. You really only have to throw your feeder like not very far at all, 50 feet, and you'll be good money. And then the match ride, because the river is flowing that way, I like to throw my match ride right here. Throw it close to these lilies, and then it'll float to the right. Yeah, it'll float to the right, so you kind of want to throw it that way. Hey, Lloyd, what's going on? What's going on? How you doing, man? Thank you for stopping through the stream. All right, now let me see if I can catch some of these bass. Oh, this ain't the one. Uh, I'm going to use my bass caster. I actually bought, I spent most of my money. I bought some more. Uh, I had lost one of my crankbait. A pike got my crankbait. It was a big pike, and I had my tension up too high. So I spent a lot of money just buying more crankbait, six foot and eight foot. And I also bought the case for seven rides. Right now, I only got six rides, but I actually got the case for seven rides. But I wanted to show you all that before I um, started using it. I was hitting catching bass with this medium spoon right here. Uh, we get another hit. 
Oh, we got hits on both rides, guys. Oh, man. We got hits on both of them. Doggone it. I lost one. Let me get the other one. They are jumping right now. They are jumping right now. I missed one. Yeah, the catfish go crazy right here. If you're looking for catfish, if you're trying to complete a mission, the catfish go crazy. What? You were winning tournaments. Hey, Patty, what level are you on? What level are you on here? Now, that's one thing I haven't done, and I want to get my bait coins up. I have not won a lot of tournaments. Hell, I haven't won any tournaments, actually. You know, I want at least place so I can... Um, that's a great way to earn bait coins, getting in those tournaments and those competitions. I believe I was testing this spoon out, but I was actually getting a lot of luck with frogs. If you got frogs, those frogs work pretty well. Let's go ahead and switch this up real quick. I know walkers work up here as well. I might try my walker in a minute. I got to keep my eye on my float. Oh, okay. Hey, well, that's what's up. Look, you're going to have to help me share some techniques with me so I can win some tournaments. I'm going to make this frog jump. This is a good way to walk the frog. And you try to keep them close to the lily pads and them bass will get them. I might have to switch my frog up. Okay, yeah. I have yet to win me. Well, the tournaments and even the competitions, man. But, yeah, I got in one tournament. It was just a waste of my money. <laughs> I probably wasted twenty, thirty thousand, 30000 uh, whatever you call the money units on here, entering the tournament. I thought I was bad you know i was catching all these fish outside of the tournament i said oh, i'm gonna get in this tournament and win and then you got to pay the travel cost and everything like it hit me pretty hard hey 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 what's up zuki i'm fishing that mud water what's up there no no okay ah i missed another fish dog on it running my mouth hey mud water is popping right now if you are trying to catch catfish I'm missing fish. Yeah, what's going on, Zuki? I might go to uh, the Rocky as well, man. I like Rocky Lake. I like Falcon. Those are two good lakes. If you're starting out but you got your level up and you're really looking for a lake to make some good money, yeah, Rocky is, is good money. All right, we got us another hit, guys. We got us another hit. Let's see what we got. Oh, she <laughs> snatched them up out the water. Okay. It's just been bullhead and catfish. Bullhead and catfish. Okay. I'm going to recast this one. Now, if you level 62, hey, what's up, Traz? What's going on? Welcome to the stream. Welcome to the stream. Thank you for stopping through. Yo, look at that frog. <laughs> My frog on the line just floating down the river. <laughs> That's crazy. Go with the size six. Okay. Size six. Zuki, don't let me forget to do that. When I bring my uh, rise in, I will switch it up to size six. Go with a bigger hook. 
or whatever the biggest hook I have. I, I think I got a size hook on me. I might have left it at home. I will check it out and see. I am level 42. I just hit 42. I am level 42. <clears throat> now, do you travel around a lot? Since you're level 62, what have you invested in? Just on advice-wise and advice for other people, do you invest in licenses like with your bait coin? And do you have like a good, you know, savings where you can just travel around and go to whatever lake you like? Uh, Zuki, you did a video on a uh, walleye. That's what's up. What lake were you at, Zuki? Were you at Emerald or were you at another lake? I'm going to try this trophy for all popper. We're going to see if this thing can get us some bass. 30, 40 feet right out. Okay. I mean, I've been playing this game for some years, you know, a couple years at least. Uh, tonight, I've just been on for about, what, 30 minutes or so? If that, maybe 20 minutes. If you just mean tonight. Save up and get the unlimited. Okay. Okay, okay. That's what's up. Oh, I got a hit. I got a hit, guys. Uh, which ride is it? Oh, it's this one. All right, let me switch it up. Okay, that's what's up. Hey, check out Zuki, your Zuki's channel. He's real good with uh, Fishing Planet as well. You know, a lot of experience. So he made a video for um, made a video for catching walleye. I'm pretty sure it's a good one. Hey, got a nice channel, Catfish 172, six pounder. That ain't bad. And that's not bad at all. You know, that's not bad at all. That's a good catch right there. All right, all right, all right. The bass are not doing anything right now. Let me try to cast over this way. Normally, I catch a few bass. Hey, Jeezy, what's going on, man? What's going on? Hey, Trash, thanks for the subscription. Appreciate it. Man, I thought I changed that thing with uh, Cam on there. Appreciate the subscription. What's going on, Jeezy? What's going on, man? How you doing? You know, I appreciate you pulling up, fam. You streaming tonight? Others who travel there with advance for a day. It honestly depends on how you play. Okay. Hill Fisher's video. All right, Zuki's video is Hill Fisher's video. Check that out. Once again, what's up to everybody who is in here so far? Thank y'all for, for coming through, man. Thank y'all for pulling up on the stream. We just chilling, doing some fishing here at Mud Water. I'm trying out this trophy frog popper, although I'm not really getting anything. Let me throw down this way. The bass... They not too friendly right now. 
I've been catching catfish and bullhead, but the bass aren't really doing much for me. Oh, the channel is called Hill Fishers. Okay. Ah, that's what's up, Zuki. Check out Hill Fishers. That's a channel dedicated to all things fishing. Okay. Well, hey, man, let me know when you get it really up and running, man. I'll check y'all out. All right, we got us another hit. We got us another hit. Okay, black bullhead. Oh, actually, let me reel this back in. I'm going to change my hook. I'm going to increase the size of the hook. See if that helps me catch some uh, bigger fish. Let's see. Right now, I'm using a number one. And, of course, a smaller hook will help you catch more. I'm going to do this X-Series. I won this X-Series doing missions. We'll do a four. I, I don't have a um a six. Or I have a six, but I didn't bring it with me. It's back at home. So we'll rock with what we got. <laughs> That's what's up. It's your boy, Boo Jeezy. Hey, Boo Jeezy, you still got the uh, the voice box, man? You still doing anything with the music? What's been up on the music, man? Hey, I want to unlock Maroon, but uh, it's going to take me a while to get there, as you know. I still got plenty of levels to go before I can reach that, but yeah, I want to unlock that as well. That's what's up. You know we still need to do a song or something, man. Even though I ain't been doing no music like that. I do something every now and then. Or, you know, somebody somebody will want me to, like, do a little project or something, and I do it. But, yeah, man. Have to check you out. Oh, yeah. Hey, you need to check out the, uh, I did a little album, man. You need to check it out. It's called I Run the Game, the Charles Macro. It's the uh, like the intro music that you hear. I don't know if I ever got to shoot it to you, man. But you check it out. I, I upload it on YouTube and then it's, you know, all the platforms and all of that. It was just more one of them projects I did for, for myself. And, you know, it wasn't no big deal. You know how it is. You get creative once sometimes. I just want to throw something out there. Let's see, Bowfin at Mudwater. Okay, hey, I'll shoot it to you, man. Yeah, i shoot it to you. Check it out. Let me know what you think. Um, I catch Bowfin. I need to look. I got to look back and see. Uh-oh, I think I got another hit. Oh, I got a hit, guys. I got a hit. Because I've caught some but it's been a minute this blood seems to do well though even for both ends let me double check I know you can't always go by these little the guides but sometimes they still have some decent information Oh, yes, Shiners, Cut Banks, Craig, Shads. Okay. But um, I got to do a video. I got to go around and test the lake again because it's been a minute since I messed with both in. 
um, a few of these. I know my line has been broken by <laughs> one of these. It was either both in or a drum. We got a drum here. Yeah, it might have been a drum that got me. Let me throw some minnows on here. Oh, that's some cut bait. We'll see if we can catch some real quick. I'll throw some cut bait on. Oh, I only got four. Eh, well. We'll have to buy some more. Shallow cranks and spinner baits on the bow fan down the cattails. Eh, let me look at that. I don't have a six hook on me. I only have a four. But I do need to put a larger hook on here. I thought I put a larger hook on. Let me change my hook real quick. Yeah, four is the biggest that I have right now. I'm going to do this X series. Okay, the cattails over here. I got you. This might be too uh, shallow. I might need to bring this length in some. Hey, okay, it's all right. Let's see what we can catch here. I'm going to put a crankbait on here. Yeah, my other crankbait got taken by a pike, but I did buy some more. We'll see if these three-footers work. I got a three-footer, six-footer. Appreciate that, Lord. Thanks, Zuki. Let's see. I am getting a lot of hits. Okay. I'll buy some more leaders. Now, what speed is good with the crankbait? And do you fish it really close to the cattails or more in the center? I'm using a three foot. But do I need to go up to a six foot? I'm going to go to six foot. Right, let me recast. Why they keep telling me my bait has pulled too far? Let's recast this here.
This my six foot right here. I'm gonna try this six foot. Okay. Yeah, I've never entered a uh, bow fan tournament as of yet. I usually catch both in, aren't there both in at White Moose Lake? There we go. Oh. Oh, we got us a hit. We got us a hit. Let's see if this is a bowfish or a bass. This might be a bass, but it seems a little heavier. This could be a bowfish. A bowfin. <laughs> calling him a bowfish. There it is, the bow fan. Bam, right there. Thank you. Thank you, Lloyd Zuki. Hey. Let's go on and throw it back out there. Hey, good one, Lloyd. Good call on that crankbait. I had a hit. Look, I might have to enter the tournament now. <laughs> I might have to enter the tournament now. I need another feeder, even if it's another uh, 20 pound ish. That way I don't have to watch this uh, match ride so closely. See if I can get it right next to these cattails. Yeah, if you fishing right now, let me know what lake you fishing at. What lake are you fishing at? Or what game are you on? If you on another game, what you playing? Right now, I'm targeting both in. Yeah, I can't stand that when the game, you won't give you no, you feel the bites. But they won't jump on that hook like they supposed to. I know the feeling. Hey, what's up, OG? What's going on with you? Appreciate you pulling up to the stream. Y'all check out OGTK Code. Some of the most official gameplay. How you doing this evening? How you been, man? Oh, we got a hit. We got a hit. We got a hit on the feeder. That's what's up. That's what's up. Look, I'm doing a little streaming. I done started streaming a bit. Threw a few uh, Fishing Planet chill streams out. Hey, that's good to hear, man. You in the city or you, you moving around right now? Ah, okay. That's what's up. It's going to be official. Trying to catch another one of these both in. Okay. Okay, so you're gonna uh, get on the Xbox. 
I have it on Xbox. I'm on Steam, by the way, if y'all don't know. I am on Steam. But I do have a Xbox, and I can play it on there as well. I was actually thinking about starting over myself and maybe doing like a, you know, starting from the beginning series or just streaming for like an hour a day, you know, and showing you what I did uh, or what I do to level up, you know, showing the progression and what rides I choose and things of that nature. And for the people with experience, they can jump in the stream as well and help give tips, you know, kind of give some people who starting out some direction. That was an idea. I, I hadn't actually implemented it yet, but that was an idea. Since I've been streaming. Yeah, Falcon Lake is a good farm. Especially if you can use more than one ride. If you level 25, you should be able to have more than one ride. So you can spin fish and kill it at Falcon Lake. Catch those trout. You'll make good money. And you'll get a lot of XP as well. Oh. Oh, we got another hit. Yeah, if you are, you say you level 25. If you beat, if you're past Emerald Lake, so if you've already done the Emerald Lake thing, oh, a trophy catfish. Nice. Nice, nice, nice. Yeah, if you pass Emerald Lake and, you know, you're tired of grinding there because Emerald Lake is still, of course, a really good lake for uh grinding earning money and xp as well yeah falcon is a good lake the drum ain't doing too much Yeah, that boat. I want a boat too, man, but the boats, yes, that price is crazy. The price is crazy on the boats. That's a lot of saving. All right, I'm going to try something here real quick. I was testing out jigs. You can catch catfish with jigs. Uh, so I'm going to do... I think this one odd. It said crayfish. I caught some with crayfish and it might be craw. Crayfish and craw. Let me double check. I'm gonna do I'm gonna throw this crayfish first. I think it might be crayfish and craw. Oh, for real, you got the bass boat. Man, I, I want to get it. I'm trying to stack up to get it. But, uh, yeah, that thing costs some change. Crazy and craw for the catfish. Okay. I'm trying to spin fish. See if I can catch some catfish that way. All right, all right. Let's see. Yeah, um, we had uh, what are we, our peeps come through last night. Oh, uh, was the old, I don't know if it was old fisherman. Ah, I gotta think of my man's name, but he was high level and he was shark fishing. Yeah, he was shark fishing, and he was catching them. He said he had caught like a oh oh, could we catching a catfish with this crate? With this crayfish, I think he said he had caught like a 300-pound shark. Did we spin fish and catch us a catfish? Yes. Yes, we did. Oh, and it's a big one. It's a big one. Boom. 11-pound. Nice, nice, nice. With the spinner, y'all. Jig head. Use you a jig head with the crayfish. That was nice. Oh, and we got another hit. We got another hit. I got to pay attention. We got another hit. 
Yeah, dude said he caught. He said he was averaging like one seventies or one nineties, but he did catch a um. I think he said like a three hundred pound. That got to be like a unique. I'm not sure how big those sharks get. Boom. Okay. Another eight pounder. We might be hitting the peak time or something because they starting to get bigger. Let me pull my bass caster back out. I'm going to throw right at that boat. See if we can get us another catfish. Get us another catfish. Okay. All right, Tras. Is it Trasgo? Am I saying it correctly? Well, hey, appreciate you stopping through, man. Appreciate you. Oh, I felt the hit. I felt the hit, but it didn't get him. Hey, but yeah, have a good night. Appreciate you stopping through. Going to get you some rest, man. And, you know, anytime you see me on, I'm streaming more. I do put up videos and everything, man. Uh, just holler at me whenever. And uh, definitely come through the stream, man, anytime you can, man. Much appreciated. I'm missing, I'm missing hits. What's going on? Okay. Hey, what's up, Ghost? What's going on, man? Hey, it's all good, man. Appreciate you coming through. It's all good, man. Thank you for pulling up to the stream. I'm glad you made it. Hey, thanks, Patty. He said be for beginners, shads are good for both ends. So if you're targeting both ends, check those shads out. Now, I think shads, you got to have a barbless. Or not a barbless, but um, you got to use a jig for a shad. So get you some of those jig heads and uh, throw you a shag on there if you are going for those both ends. Okay, we got a black bull head. Not bad, not bad. Let me throw it out a little, little deeper. Oh, I only got two cut bait left. I'm going to have to change this bait up. We almost out. Yeah, man. Hey, Ghost, what you on? Are you, are you fishing tonight? Are you on something else? Ah, I'm feeling a the hit. They didn't bite, though. Oh, man, I remember you saying that, man. Hey, sorry about the line. The trout broke your line. Did you have any, like, backup lure? Were you spin fishing or were you, uh, ah, something about to take it right there? Oh, oh, he was right there at the edge of the, uh, he was right there at the edge of the lake, of the shore. Dang. Okay, the golden pack a good way to start it out. Goes, what were you fishing? Were you feeder fishing? Were you float fishing? Uh, what, were you, what were you doing? Were you spin fishing? And I see you getting bass and no both in. I was getting both in and no bass. And normally I get bass when I cast up that way. I uh, got a hit. Come on. There we go. Got him. We got him this time. We got him this time. Is that a catfish? Okay, it's a young. Yeah, that's the only thing. Um, You know, I don't know what tackle you're using, but... 
especially when you go to those lakes, you got to just make sure your tackle is heavy enough. Then the other thing, you got to watch your drag because sometimes you have your tension up too high and you don't know it. And that might be why, you know, you'll pop your line or they'll take your line. You might have been able to catch it, but your tension was too high. That used to get me a lot when I first started out. I had my tension too high and then, you know, a big fish would get on there. Oh, got him. Got him. And it'll break your line. So just double check your tension and also, you know, make sure that your uh, your tackle can handle that weight. These crayfish are doing real well if you're trying to spin fish for catfish. This also works well at, uh, I think it's North Carolina. I believe I was fishing in North Carolina and I was spinning, catching some catfish. It wasn't super consistent, but it was working. Oh, yes, I'm in America. I'm in the States. Yeah, I'm in the States. Where are you located? Got him. Oh, got me another one. This, is this a trophy? Is this a trophy? This might be a trophy. Eh, nah. He's a Reggie. <laughs> he was some of that Reggie, but nonetheless, good catch. Good catch. Okay, you in England. That's what's up. The UK. Now, I got a lot of different techniques for when I fish. One thing I don't utilize or emphasize as much as I probably should or could is the weather. And I know the weather makes a difference, but, oh, we got one on our feeder, guys. We got one on the feeder. But I probably need to, you know, emphasize and do the studying on the weather a little more okay we doing some business we doing some business yeah I wasn't sure what to do with my bait coins uh, either when I first started out and like you say you waste a few here and there I then mainly started focusing with my bait coins on um, licenses oh another hit Yo, this crayfish is real good for these catfish. Oh, largemouth. Okay. Now, see, these bass are the best money at this lake. Look at that, a two-pounder, and that's 154 versus the catfish where we were um, getting much more weight. But, again, if you're just doing it for sport, it's all good. If, you, if you're really targeting the money, you got to figure out how to catch the bass here. What lake are you at? What's up, Geoff? And I hope I'm saying that correctly, man. Forgive me if I'm not. Antonius. Welcome to the stream, man. Appreciate you stopping through. Oh, that's okay. That's okay. And I'll probably get on tomorrow. Uh, let's see. If I do tomorrow to be later, I actually got a photo shoot tomorrow evening. Maybe during the day, but I, I'll be prepping, so I don't know. But uh, if tomorrow get too busy where I can't get on Saturday, I do plan to at least jump on for a little while and do some fishing. Hey, what's up, Remus? Thanks for stopping through the stream. What's going on? Yeah, no, it's cool. What lake are you um gonna fish from, Ghost? Hey, Celias, what's going on, Celias? How you doing, man? 
Yeah, I know. I hadn't made any Fisher Planet video. Uh, excuse me, not Fisher Planet. I hadn't made any Imperion videos in a minute, man. I do plan to check out the that latest update they did with Imperion because it looks like they really added a lot more to the game. Um, but yeah, I just I just took a break. I took like a big time break, man. But how you doing, man? How life been treating you? Hope everything's been uh, well with you, man. Yeah, I know. I love Fishing Planet too, Ravens. Like, this is the best fishing game out here, man. And when they keep it balanced where it's not like so heavy on, you know, trying to get you to get DLC. Um... They make it so you can get it and, and enjoy the game still. And I like that. You know, you can invest a little bit of change into it and still enjoy the game. Um, and there were points in it where they made it very grindy and it turned a lot of regular people off. Oh, you got 20 Bacon. That's what's up. Yeah, I'm on PC, Remus. I'm on PC. Yeah, I'm doing good, man. I can't complain at all. Doing good. Family's good. My son getting big. He growing up. He running around, wilding. Like, you know, he is he is wilding. He he pushing too. So, you know, this, this is an experience for me. That's part of the reason I ain't played as much in, in the diversity of my games too, man. My son, you know, that changed my life. So, uh, you know, you, you had your first one. It definitely will change things up on you. Especially while they're young. But he's getting older now, so it's helping me to be able to get back on and kind of get a regular schedule. I'm a gamer, so I still play. But, um, you know, I always play. And I was still making content, but, you know, I had to dedicate a lot of time to my, to my little man. Yeah, that's good. Same here, man. My job is is uh, doing well, man. I work a lot from home. I still go in sometimes, but the job's doing good, man. You know, life is straight. I cannot complain. I cannot complain. Oh, got another hit. Got another hit. Hey, Ghost, what lake are you at? Let me know what lake you at so I know where... Um, I need to fish. Did you go back to Lone Star? Do you need any help at Lone Star? Or are you good there? I partially, that's why I came to Mudwater too. Some people were asking about Mudwater. So I've been doing some, just some catfish uh, fishing. You know, and I had to come back and kind of test out and see what else worked here. That's why I'm fishing with these crayfish. If you come here fishing for catfish and you want to use a spinner, Get you a jig head and use crayfish. They work well. No, when you uh ghost, when you get on, what lake are you gonna go to first? Just so again, I like to jump on and go back and kind of test out the lake if I hadn't been there in a while. Yeah, and I have tried some of the fishing, some of those other fishing games. I got this one. It was horrible, Patty. I had this one fishing game, man. I got like ultimate. I think it's ultimate fishing. And I actually like that one. The one where it show you that other view. The, uh, okay. Yeah, we can get there, man. No worries. But yeah, that ultimate fishing where you can see that fish view. Okay, ain't nothing out here. I'm going to just recast this. Let me look at one thing. Test out something else. Oh, he said leeches. Leeches and pet food. I just got to see what I have more of in my inventory. Da, 
other day. Let's see. Oh, I got the voodoo shells out there in Canada as well. Okay, I got a lot of pet food. We'll use some pet food. Oh, my name on here is Charles Macro. So, yeah, just look up Charles Macro. We'll cast this fairly close. I'm going to reel my float back in. Ah, I had a hit. I had a hit on my float. My float had floated a little too far away. I'm going to change this cut bait. I don't want it to run out entirely. We're going to try pet food on both of these, see what type of activity we get. Oh, the pet food is working already. Nah, no numbers, no capitals. Okay, I'll try a larger uh, cut bait too as well. Thanks, Zuki. Ah, I missed it. He hadn't really struck yet. I was I was premature. I was premature. I don't think the caps uh matter. No numbers though. I don't think the case uh makes a difference. All right, got him this time. Got him this time. Yeah, well, not only are there... Oh, that's a decent one. Not only are there not a lot of people to play with, and I have a Discord, so if y'all want to join the Discord and we can and we can start posting pictures or, you know, when people want to fish together, you know, you can meet up there and uh, know you have somebody cool to fish with. But, yeah, not only are there not as many people to fish with they need to implement being able to get on a boat together like having multiple people on a boat they need to make it where you can stand up on the boat or even um i don't mean stand up they need to make it where you can actually cast multiple rides on your boat like what's the point of buying a boat if you um can't use multiple rides i think that's janky like I know they're making enough money that they can code that in there. Not that I'm a game dev, you know what I mean? And the game is great. But I don't see how they haven't added the ability to fish with multiple rides on your boats. That's crazy. Kayak, I get it. But not necessarily the boat, you know? Yeah, man, that would be awesome. If we all could get on boats and fish together, oh, that would be awesome. And have two and three rides out there, and you trolling and you fishing at the same time. Like, come on. <laughs> Zuki, you crazy, man. <laughs> yeah, they definitely need to uh, work on that and get that implemented. I don't know if we'll ever see it. I don't know if we'll ever see it or not, but, you know. Wishful thinking, eh? Uh, I had another hit. There we go. Got him back. Got him back. What's this, a bullhead? Okay. Black bullhead. A little something, something. Let's cast toward the yellow boat. Um, you want to start streaming? Um, I say just do it. Hey, if you want to do it, do it. Cause the sooner you start, the sooner you'll kind of figure out, you know, your thing. A lot of times, it's it takes time to do it. Or once you do it, you know, you look at it and you learn from it. You make your adjustments. Oh, okay, I like the way I did this. I like the way I did that. But um, 
Hey, hey, let Plague know I said happy birthday, man. Shout out to him. Happy birthday to Plague. Yeah. You know, now, if you already know what software you want to use and, and all of that, yeah, go on and jump into it, man. Don't even overthink it. It's not even as hard as people think per se. It's great, you know, if you got personality and all of that, but some people stream and they don't even, you know, talk like that. Like, it's not, nece it's not necessary, especially if you're skilled in the game. If you're skilled in the game, you can help people, you'll do fine. Uh, how do I get so many people to watch my vids? <laughs> hey, I don't know, man. I caught lightning in a bottle. Now, nah, from what most people tell me, I it's I'm not a teacher, but I'm pretty decent at teaching. I was gonna teach at one point, but so I guess the way I kind of put my video together, it like really caught people and it helped people. And so, especially with my Fishing Planet videos, you know, just, if you got a video or you got a style that can help add something to people and kind of help them, it just, they just did really well. Um, so, yeah, a lot of my videos, I just try to give people information. And then I got sometimes where I play and do playthroughs, and, then, and I don't know, it may be the, just trying to be personable and relatable but i don't i don't really know i've been doing it for a long time so you just keep trying and you know you just again try to get better with each video let's see a fishing account on tiktok there are a bunch of people that side of the lake the group video trying to get the biggest fish Hey, TikTok ain't a bad move. Um, I've been on YouTube for a while, and even one of my friends has been like encouraging me, like, do TikTok vids because, you know, that's where all the young people at, and that's where everybody, you know, is at on TikTok. So, yeah, like, that's not a bad idea to use TikTok. You could probably grow much faster than on YouTube. YouTube, how do I put it <laughs> to be, be kind of PC? YouTube, not, it, it isn't even just that a lot of people are on YouTube, but the fact that they've kind of gone so corporate, so to speak, it's not like back in the days of, you know, you anymore. So you really got to kind of approach it a certain way to grow on YouTube nowadays. And they make it very hard. You know, they're kind of bad with censorship and things of that nature. Back in the day, it wasn't as much censorship, so... Although you was in the name, it's more about, you know, them being more about making money versus the people. So you kind of got to balance that out. Uh, but TikTok isn't a bad way to go. Yeah, TikTok isn't a bad way to go at all. I just haven't done it yet. But uh, that's because I'm kind of like old school. And like I said, I've been on here for a while. But um, I definitely, though, if you want to stream or even make videos, man, again, I say just do it. You'll learn from, like, every video. You'll learn from every stream, and you'll get better. You'll look back at it and say, oh, okay, I, I need to do more of this. I need to do more of that. The people were enjoying this. And you'll just adjust, and, and you know, you'll grow. It'll get You'll get comfortable. You're always nervous at first, unless it's just what you already do. But you'll get comfortable. And, um... Just stick with it. Most people quit. Like, most people think that, like, say, wait a minute, so I throw my lure out. Okay. Man, it's jumping right now, Zuki. Most people quit before they, like, meet, like, get the people who like them. There are people for everybody. Like, people on the internet, there's something for everybody. So, if you just stick with it and, and you know, try to grow, um, it'll happen, but a lot of people quit because they don't get a million followers in a week. You know, it just, it really don't work like that unless you get real lucky. But man, if you got more questions about it, like I said, holla at me, let me know. I don't, I don't mind, you know, 
sharing the info of what I did. When I started, things were a little different. Google Plus was still around and things like that. Um, and the censorship wasn't quite as bad. But, yeah, man, just just hit me up. If you got any questions, man, I'll help you out, you know, give you any advice I can. Ah, the fish are nibbling all on the line. They're not biting it. Get it. Get it. Hey. What's up, Z? Thank you for the subscription. Thank you for stopping through. Much appreciated. Man, I thought I changed that, that cam uh, subscription joint. Okay, I'm going to put my Discord in here. Hold on, y'all give me a second. Let me um let me put my Discord in here. Let me put my Discord in. Let me open it up. Actually, hold on. Y'all excuse that. So I can open up my Discord. And I can add the link. It might pop up in the middle, so you know, give me a minute. Yeah, if you're not uh oh, did you know? Okay, yeah, if you're not getting the fish that you are <laughs> you fishing for, yeah, you might want to avoid the tournament right now. I feel you on that. I'm about to post my uh my Discord channel link in the chat. If anybody wants to join. And again, just go to the Fishing Planet channel. And um uh invite friends to the macro universe. Go to the Fishing Planet channel and hey, post pictures. Post your biggest catches, you know. And chat it up. We got a voice channel for Fishing Planet and a regular text uh, chatting channel. So, yeah, any of them. Invite link. All right, here you go. Um, that's the Discord link right there. I just put it in the chat. So, again, join and, again, holler at the Fish and Planet channel, man. Y'all link up as well. Just chat. Um, you can hit me up. But, again, y'all also, you know, utilize it to find people to fish with, to post pics of the fish. I don't care. Hey, post pictures of the scenery. If you if you're a photographer, I actually do some photography as well. I got to shoot tomorrow, but uh, like whatever, man. Y'all have a good time with it, and we can grow it, and you know, get a good community. Cause I do want to do some tournaments, some competitions, some of the custom competitions where we give prizes away. Um, I know you get the prizes through the game, but I also want to. Oh, do I got a hit? Do I got a hit? I also want to even maybe do some prizes like once a week. If we really get people fishing in the tournaments like that, well, we can do some real world, like a gift card on the system or something, you know, like a $10 gift card on the Xbox, PS4, Steam, you know, something like that in the future. But that's if we get enough people involved. But we'll still just do the regular custom competition starting out for, you know, uh, for the in-game currency the in-game currency and bait coins. And thanks, Patty. Hey, stop on through, man. Appreciate you, uh, you know, for joining, man. And we got other games that we talk about again. Although I do Fishing Planet and I, I do a lot of Fishing Planet, I still play a lot of survival games. I was thinking about playing The Hunter. Do any of y'all play like The Hunter? I have that. I used to play it a lot. But I never really did anything on the channel. I might have did one or two videos. I know hunting and fishing go together. Uh, 
thought this might be drying up. Nope. I thought it was drying up, but it's not. We are really reeling these in right here tonight, guys. Another catfish. All right, chat. What lake are y'all at as well? Thanks, Patty. Hey, appreciate you joining. Again, hit that Fishing uh, Planet channel up. And even a general chat. You know, we still got a few of um, our regular peeps that come through. Like I say, my Discord right now isn't isn't crazy, you know. But we have some good people that come through. And, you know, we'll still chat. But it's quiet right now, as I like to say. It's a little quiet. But we can get it going with Fish and Planet and, um, you know, images, pics, everything. Dog, I am really getting a lot of hits with this crayfish. This crayfish number four. Yeah, I got the Hunter, um, not the classic, but that new one they put out. What's the name of it? Let me look on my computer. I'm trying to find it. Oh, Hunter Call of the Wild. Is it Call of the Wild? It's the Hunter. I believe it's Call of the Wild. Yeah, they do need to add crossplay. And we used to get on Farming Sim as well. Oh, hey, again, let me know too. I got this game called Farm, Farm Manager, Farm Sim Manager. It's a real easy laid back game, but, um, you know, you really grow up and do the same type of things you do on Farming Sim, but it's a top-down or three-fourth, you know, angle type of game. It was real interesting. I've been enjoying it. I was going to put some video up on it. Called a while. Okay. Yeah, no, I was enjoying it, and then I was still learning. I didn't really buy any DLC. I know they, you know, like you got to get the DLC to get like the four-wheel or the ATV and really be able to move around. But um, I was still enjoying it, even having to walk through all the forest and get to those checkpoints that spread out <laughs> all over. Oh, guys, this is hit. I need to be doing. Oh, I am doing a video. I'm sorry, I need to be doing a video. This crayfish, crayfish on a spinner, is hot right here. It is extremely hot. Use this if you are at Mudwater Lake. Toss out between this tree and this boat and just stop and go. You get catfish all day long. All day long. I've been getting hits like every time I cast. Uh, and I caught a crayfish with crayfish. Let me keep that. Oh, I got to release it. Ah, we accomplished the mission. Hey, shells and creatures. 23.90 and three bait coin. Nice, 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 nice. Oh, I think somebody was saying that earlier. Patty, was that you that was talking about uh, doing missions? That's one thing I really neglected. If you're new starting out, do missions. When I first started, I didn't do any missions, so I was at, like, level 20. And I think that they started adding more missions and, you know, uh, ah, look at that. We got another hit. Really emphasizing that for people because missions is a great way to get bait coins besides, like, your daily login. So, yeah, they added, like, newer, like, uh, part two and part three and part four to missions. And they need to keep doing that at every lake so that people have the opportunity to win bait coins, you know, without actually buying them. But, yeah, I neglected missions. I've completed a lot of missions. I'm going to do some videos. Again, let me know in the comments if you want to see uh, videos on missions, but... Yeah, I actually was getting a lot of footage, and even if I've already done it, I might go back and do it just to help people to uh, get through the missions if they're having trouble, you know, finding certain fish. Mm. 
man, this is hitting right here. This might be another bat. No, this is a catfish. A bullhead. Okay, another catfish. Yeah, this is really jumping right now. Really jumping right now. I don't know what level this crayfish is. Yeah, they need to have more tournaments like all through the day. And I don't see why they can't. They really make it very time sensitive. I'm, I'm with you. Like if you got to work, you can't enter most of the tournaments. Or you got to stay up late and be tired or get up extremely early. Really depending on your time zone. They need to just have them stagger like every two or three hours, like all day. Hey, what's up, Brandon? Hey, nah, it's all good, man. It's all good. Thanks for stopping through the stream, man. We've been on for a little while. I'm here at Mudwater Lake catching catfish like crazy. Catfish and their brothers and sister fish. <laughs> Oh, another hit. Another hit. Yo, I need to go to the shop and check out these uh, crayfish. Just so you can see what level they are. This cray, look at that trophy. Hey, we got a trophy catfish, guys. We got us a trophy catfish, 300. Not bad, not bad at all. Uh, not bad at all. I done sat here and caught about 200 pounds with y'all. I plan to be on for a while, man. I'm going a, I'm to a keep fishing for a little while. Let's see. It's 11. And at least another 30 minutes. Well, let me not say for sure, for sure, but probably another 30 minutes at least. It's, uh, it's pushing 12 here. Yeah, what lake are you trying to fish at, Brandon? Oh, yeah, you catch some good uniques at Rocky Lake. Ah, another trophy back to back. Hey, Ghost, you just joined on Discord. Y'all on Discord? Look, I need to, uh, I don't have my Discord pulled up. I pulled it up to um, post the link. But I actually need to pull it back up. Let me see if I can log in. Give me a second, guys. I can pull up my Discord. Let me pull it up on my laptop. Let's see where y'all at, what y'all doing. Okay, that's what's up. So you're going to get you some more merch, some more rides and whatnot. Hey, what's up, Ghost? Hey. I'm posting a message on the Discord. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Let me do this. Hey, what up? <laughs> oh, Lesna Villa. Okay. I have not fished at Lesney Villa in a while. I like spin fishing so much. That's one of those lakes where you really gotta um where you really gotta to float or feeder fish. And yeah, I just like spin fishing quite a bit. And you know, it's, it's early, but you can't catch. I actually went back there and was like working on some videos, really trying to find the best hot spot so people could catch fish. And I still may do it. But you'll have to throw me some tips, man. Patty, you have to kind of give me some tips, though, the best way to navigate around uh, Lesney Villa. <laughs> Zuki. Hey, Patty. What's up? Oh, okay. I see you, Patty. What up? <laughs> oh man the 
man, these catfish are jumping on the hook. The catfish, the bullhead, I mean, they all the same. They are jumping on the hook right about now. You know what? I need to check my missions, actually, now that you mention it, the missions for this lake. Ah, man. Look, another hit. Let me see if I can snatch this one. Got him. Snatched them up. Snatched them up. This might be another trophy. He seemed a little heavy. He seems a little heavy. Is this a trophy? Is this a trophy? Are there uniques? Oh, another trophy, guys. 12 pounds, 338. Mm. Hey, Zuki, what, did, what was it again that you were saying were good for um, Bowfin? We got to try some different bait for these Bowfin. Some different bait, some different lure. I got this catfish down. This going to be another video for catfish. <laughs> I got the video with the bait. I'm going to show people how to spin fish for this catfish. Let me show you how to work this crayfish. I might have to pull it from this right here. What are we doing tonight? Because they are nibbling and biting. Cut bait medium or small. Okay. If you are float or feeder, you can try cut bait. If you spin fishing, I tried that crank bait. Which it worked, but I only got like one hit, then it kind of dried up. Okay, I probably only caught one or two carp on here, honestly. I mean, the whole time I played, when I played, um, did you ever play Russian Fishing 4? I liked Russian Fishing 4, but they got real, like, sketchy. You know, they really got on trying to force you to, you know, to spend money and enjoy. They started drying up all the spots. I had some good hot spots. Then it's like you couldn't catch any fish. It was a good game. I actually started playing that before I had got on Fishing Planet. But, yeah, they started making it where none of the spots would work anymore. And it was just super grindy. And that's why I was like, let me go on over to Fishing Planet because, um, at the time, some of the like the pro guys, like uh, uh, what's my man name? Y'all know my man. He does fishing planet videos. Um, he like an OG fishing planet. He's an older guy. He wears his, his hat, kind of like an Australian brim. Oh, what's his name? I can't think of it right now. It's on the tip of my tongue, but dude is like an OG fishing planet dude. He got some really good videos. And he was saying how Fishing Planet was getting a little sketchy with the uh, with the DLCs and, you know, with the microtransactions. But then they corrected it. You know, they, they kind of evened it back out. And that's when I jumped on it after Russian Fishing started acting funny. And um, I've been on it ever since, man. Fishing Planet is like the top, the, the top game. Yeah, it's like nothing else has come out that competes with finish Fishing Planet yet. Some competition would be nice, but yeah, they nothing compares to Fishing Planet right now. But anyway, in Russian Fishing 4, they had some real good carp fishing. One thing that was cool about Russian Fishing 4 was this that that like you would catch a fish and you would have to run around the lake. It would take you literally 20 minutes to pull in one of those big carp if your gear wasn't ready. You know. Again, I still think Fishing Planet is better, but it has some good elements to it. Bread with honey is good. 
but peas are great. Ah, I might throw up here. Hey, what's up, <laughs> Resetties? What's going on? What's going on? Welcome to the stream. Welcome to the stream. Okay, we caught another bass. But I do want to catch some carp, so I'm going to get with you, Patty, on those carp, man. You give me some tips. All right, so we say bread with honey and peas. I'm going to throw my feeder up here with some peas on it. We'll change it to peas and see if we can catch us some... Uh, Catch us some both in. Is that what we're looking for, both in? All right, there goes some peas. Pass the peas like we used to do. I'm going to throw it about here with these peas. Let's see if it does anything. Semolina balls, peas, okay. Bread with honey. I'm going to grab this float. I think I'm actually, am I out of bread with honey? See, peas, semolinas. I'll come back to the semolinas and try them yet. Bread with honey. Bread with honey used to be my good money for uh, at, at uh, Lone Star Lake. When you were going for those drums. All right, let's see if we get any activity with either, with either of these. I'll try semolina balls next. Oh. Bad cast. Let me see if any catfish over this way. The hot spot has been straight ahead, but we'll see if we can catch any over this way. Oh, yeah. Appreciate it, Patty. Yeah, man. Like, that's another good thing, too, man. Just, um, Although I know a little bit about fishing planning, I know a fair amount, you know. I know so many people know a lot more, man. So it's always good to just let each other let everyone help one another, you know. And that's what's great about the fishing planet community, man. A lot of people a lot of people do help. Or if I can help people help each other and come together, man, yeah, I definitely like to do that. Because as you said, sometimes it's hard to find people to fish with or people who are helping one another. So, yeah, when I can help that, I'm, I'm real happy to do that and be a part of that. Hell, I used to do shout-out videos earlier in my channel. I don't know if y'all remember the shout-out videos. I don't know if Zuki remember that. The show love shout-outs. But we always would just try to help each other. Like, we had a really good community. Oh, we got a hit. Look at that. I picked up the ride and had a hit. Okay, bass. Looks like the bass might like the crayfish. Um, yes, I played Farming Sim. I haven't played in a while, but, like, at one point, we even did some multiplayer maps. Zuki as well, um, uh, where we did multiplayer. But I normally would just play by myself, and I did a few videos. But I haven't been on it in a while. But, yeah, I enjoy Farming Sim. No, and I agree with you, man. It's, it is good that it doesn't have the toxicity of other games, man, where you got people griefing or you got people you know, insulting one another, like, you know, we, we trying to game and have a good time, man, and so, yeah, just to be able to chill and relax and then still have some people who are cool or, you know, who want to help each other and share info, man, like, that is a good thing about Fishing Planet. That's one of the things I've always enjoyed about it. All 
Now, what system do you play Farming Sim on, though? What system are you on? Xbox, PC, are you on Steam? Yes, absolutely. Farming Sim is very time consuming. Like, it was certain fields or certain jobs I took, and it would take days. It would take days to finish, you know, uh, harvesting. I was commenting with somebody today on my old video I did about harvesting. It could take you days to harvest some of those fields. It's, it, we, it, I know it's not real, real time, but it's very close. It's very close. Another hit. Okay. Look like the bass moving down a bit. Yeah, man. Fishing Planet is, like I say, the best fishing game out. Like, they have not made anything that compares to it. It's a few that's all right. It's a few that's decent, but... For the most part, nah, nothing compares. I do too. Let's say Falcon or what? Or Colorado, Oregon. Oh, is that a hit? Oh, that's somebody else's line. Um, I grind as well. White Moose Lake, that's my favorite lake. I saved up 250 of my bait coins to buy White Moose Lake. And then just learning some of the other lakes. I actually got to go back to Florida, to Louisiana. I still got to get to California. Zuki always get on me about California, no sturgeon. But I had to get my gear up, man. My gear wasn't ready. I wasn't trying to get broke by those sturgeon. Grass balls and pet food are good for carp. Like literal grass balls in real life. You ain't like Florida. Well, when I went there, I didn't earn like I thought I would for it to be a farm. So I, I haven't been back like that. But it's supposedly a farm, you know. But yeah, I didn't earn. That's why I said I would go back and really learn it to figure out where the money is at. But Florida is supposed to be a farm. But I feel you, I didn't do well like that the first time I went there, so. This crayfish is really hitting, guys. This has been about like 80%. Let me see what the uh what my payout is looking like. I might I plan to run over to Lone Star just for some people to see. Some of the earlier players to kind of see what's going on if they were in need of uh, seeing some gameplay or some tips. Oh, right now here in the States, it is, well, you know, we got a few different time zones. But in my time zone, I'm on the eastern coast. It's 1138. So it's almost 12 midnight. Whew. All right, I think I caught enough catfish. I was going to fill my net up, but I don't feel like filling my net up. I'm going to go ahead and pull in. Buffalo, that's what I meant. 
I'm going to get that buffalo. Make sure you show them that spot. <laughs> yeah, I said drum, but buffalo is a good fish at uh, Lone Star Lake. At Eel at Wish Lake. Where are eels located at? I think eels are at some later lakes. Ten thirty nine. Yeah, that's not bad. It's only a couple hours. A couple hours difference. All right, we're going to leave, cash it on in, and take our talents over the Lone Star real quick. Let me look at the map. Let me kind of see where I would want to fish. Yeah, they have a, a nice variety of lakes. I probably need to fix one of these. I'm going to wait. Let's see, 17 of 30. Yeah, I'm cool. I'm cool. Let's see, mud water. Yeah, Rocky is good. If you're looking for good starter lakes, let me let me go to Emerald. You can't go wrong at Emerald. You can make a hundred k at Emerald as long as you got a, a narrow spoon. North Carolina's all right. It's not a super money farm, but you can make some money while you're there. Michigan, Michigan is one I went to that they said was a farm. Maybe I wasn't ready when I went there, so I didn't make a lot of money. But it is supposed to be a farm. Mud water again is not a money spot, but you can you can do some good fishing at mud water. That's where we just left. Catfish, mm, that's some good cooking. That's some good eating. As we say, long start is the starter. We know about that. Rocky is decent for trout and cost. Falcon, you can make some good money. Falcon is good money. Again, California is good money, but if you go out there before you ready for you hit like a higher level or if you haven't invested in any good gear, California will tear you up if you go after sturgeon. But it's good money if you're ready. White moose, this my spot. You still need a ride that can handle about 20 pounds because 40 pound fish will be there and they'll tear you right up too, but yeah, white moose, the white moose is my spot. Let's see, Quatch, Quatchkin. Louisiana's supposed to be pretty good. What y'all think about Louisiana? Let me know. I've, I've been there once. Didn't earn a lot, but again, it's supposed to be a farm. Let's look at the fish that are in Louisiana. Yeah, you got the gar. You got catfish, which again, don't do a lot of good money. They got a lot of catfish there. Catfish, the payout just isn't great. The bass are good, but, but they only get so big. So it's not like you're going to get a 50-pound bass on here, at least not at these lakes. Say so you don't like emerald, the catfish spots. Okay, I'm finna go to Lone Star because I have not caught a lot of catfish at Lone Star. I did catch one to finish the mission. Let me, hold on, let me look at this mission. I caught it, but I have not. Let's see, but a uh, black tail shiner, isn't it a Lone Star two? I thought it was a Lone Star two. Let's see. Yeah, I caught the catfish. Now I'm trying to catch the buffalo. I I've <laughs> caught hundreds of buffalo, but when I needed to catch it for this mission, they were dry. But, yeah, you're going to have to show me the catfish. I did catch the catfish. Don't get me wrong. I caught some, but it wasn't regular. So you can let me know where they at. Uh, mud water. Ah, man, I should have went after these panfish. I'll go back and do this. I'll go back and do this later. I see the heron. 
Yeah, the Heron's not bad. Everglades. I'm gonna knock out these missions. All right, so I'm gonna jump in the Lone Star real quick. Just catch a couple bass real quick for anybody that wanna see it. We may figure out what other lake we wanna go to. No travel cost. Okay, yeah, appreciate that. Yes, post a vid on the Discord. And any of you guys, again, you starting out, you trying to catch the catfish, we'll have some uh, help and some people who can uh, give you some advice in the Discord. So just come on through. Go catch some bass. Oh, uh, I need to actually redo my or change my bag so I can have seven, so I can put my lightest rod in here. This rod's a little heavier than I want it to be for this lake. Let me back out. You know, because this is a free lake, I didn't really plan plan it out. You know, normally I would have planned out a little deeper what um, lure I'm going to take or how I'm approach the lake, but it's not really necessary at Lone Star. This hook still may be a little too light, but we'll see. We shall see, we shall see. Oh, nice. Hey, what's up, son, random? Thank you for stopping, stopping through the stream. Bam, we got us a bass on our first cast. Bass on the first cast. This rod is a little too heavy. Oh, that's a pickerel. My bad, my bad. That was not a bass. Point eight pounds. All right, all right, all right. Okay, cool. So you making the vid right now? All right, where the bass at? Where the bass at? Where the bass at? All right, we're not getting any hits over there. Let's go to the other side. I might have to switch it to a silver spoon. A silver spoon here. We are face to face. A couple of silver spoons. Hoping to find 
All right, all right. Because this lure is a little too light, I'm actually not being able to cast it as far as it needs to go. Bam, there we go. There we go. Okay, I, I speak up a little bit, Ghost. Can you hear me better now? Oh, man, I'm getting these grass pickerel. Yeah, my casting is short. Okay, the bass want to act funny. All right, we'll keep that. We shall keep that. Hey, what's up, Red Rock? You say cast to the left. Which left? My other left? <laughs> yeah. I ain't sure where I was standing at that time. Uh, catch a buffalo? Okay. Yeah, I'll see if I can catch a buffalo real quick. See if I can catch a buffalo. I normally have the best luck. You could come from the other side of the lake, too. But catching buffalo... Um, Bread with honey always worked well for me. And using the feeder rod. So let's see. Let's see. I would have went the furthest, wrongest way possible. And then you kind of want to go in this area. You're trying to find the deepness in the cut. Probably right there. I'm going to move over a little bit. Bam. Okay, yeah, about nine feet is a good spot. I think the deepest part of this lake is about 13 or 14. It may be about 12, but yeah, as long as you get around that 8, 9, you should be good. Let's see, I already got bread with honey on this one. We're going to throw this one just as far as it'll go. It won't cast quite as far as the feeder because the feeder has the weight. You said dough ball in the corner. Oh, the buffalo in the corner, dough ball works with, works best. I usually cast right here and let it sit, and then I will um, spin fish and catch pickerel to the left. I'm going to try dough ball then on this. Do you feed her fish red? Or do you uh, match, excuse me, float fish? Which do you prefer when you use your dough ball? Yeah, bread with honey always worked for me, although it's, it's being a little, well, it is early. It's not doing much right now. I'm feeling a nibble on this line I'm holding, though. But uh, I'm going to try those dough balls out. See how they do.
Okay. Oh, my hook too big. Doggone it. I am getting some hits, but my hook is too large. I need to um, downsize this hook. Let me reel this in. I'm going to reel this out one more time with bread with honey. And yeah, I know I can skip time. I always, I always just keep going. I usually try to just fish even through the downtime unless it's just really not biting. But sometimes, yeah, I, I forget that I can do it. You know, you get so used to your, your ways sometimes. All right, I'm going to do like a number one. I could probably do a one, uh, maybe two, but I'm going to just do it a number one just to make sure that we catch everything. Oh, if it won't let you uh, upload the vid directly to the Discord, try putting it on YouTube first. And then post that link from YouTube and it'll work. Yeah, I don't know where the giant Salvina is. Anybody know where the giant Salvina is? Ah, uh, dang. Look, I want to see the markers. You can do that where I can see the markers? I didn't know that you could actually do that. Oh, um, man, I actually, actually wasn't going to be on much longer. If you were going to come through, I might can hang around for a minute. But, yeah, I actually wasn't going to be on much longer. It's, already, it's been a couple hours. But look, if you can come back through, man, we can do it. Um, you can jump in tomorrow. It'll probably be the same time, like later in the evening, like tonight. I'm going to try these dough balls real quick. You said dough balls or semolina balls? I think you said dough balls. Hold on, let me look. Uh, dough balls, okay. I'm going to try this dough ball real quick. Let me come back over some. I think I went over too far to the right. You got to hit that spot. X-Man Clan. Yo, appreciate that. Thank you for the follow. I bet I got to do is I can't see. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. I'll let you know in the discord when I'm a, uh, when I'm gonna get on, I'll do that. I'll post it and I'll let y'all know in advance. I try to do it at least a couple, an hour or two before. If I know early that morning and, and got my schedule together, sometimes I don't know. So I just jump on. But yeah, I'll, I'll try to post that and let y'all know, give you a heads up so we can all get in together. Let's see if I can catch me a pickle real, real quick. They not biting. Normally, I get a lot of hits over here, but they not biting. We 
Red, you're going to have to uh, show me those spots, man. I do want to get in here and do that. Zuki may not be in here anymore. Zuki, you still in here? Zuki might have got off, but uh, he definitely comes through, and he'll probably be in here tomorrow. Oh, there we go. There we go. We got a hit, guys. We got a hit. Let me get this. Let me see if this is uh, Buffalo. Buffalo Soldier. Dreadlock Rasta. No, that is not. <laughs> that is not it. That's a shiner. Ah, that's not it. Uh, let me see. I might be too deep. Forty nine. That's not bad, actually. I'm gonna go to third. Eh, no, no. I probably need to go deeper. Actually, let's go to sixty. Oh, Zuki's here. Hey, what's up, Antonio? Welcome to the stream. Appreciate you stopping through. How goes it? How goes it? Okay, cool. Yeah, I check it out, Patty. Thanks. Again, I'm good. I'm sure some uh some of my peeps can use it, man. So appreciate you uploading that video. guys it's looking a little dry but um i I plan to get on tomorrow again it'll be around the same time like probably eight or nine because i actually had to go out and do some photography i got a little a couple job well a job to do tomorrow and then i get on a little later man but man yeah y'all definitely come through the uh discord we got some people um, who can do tips. I want to put pictures up of your catches or really just help each other in general, man. Or if we want to find some people to fish with, man, come on through. Come through the stream. You know, I'll be here. I'm going to keep streaming, so just pull up whenever you get a chance. And um, I do. I appreciate everybody just for stopping through and chatting, man, and giving advice and everything. That's good looking out, man, to everyone. So, yeah, I'm about to hop off. It's, uh, it's a little after 12, and I so said I got to get up in the morning. But, yeah, appreciate everybody for stopping through once again, man. And, again, I'm going to holler at y'all on the later on, all right? And, you know, dude, like, subscribe, do all that stuff if you feel like it, if you haven't done so already, man. But uh, we'll get back on here uh, tomorrow, and I'm going to try to stream about every day if I can. Uh, but if not, it will be multiple times throughout the week and whatnot. All right? And yes, I'm going for them sharks soon. I'm coming for them sharks. 
We getting out there. We getting them sharks. All right. <laughs> yeah, man. But I'm going to holler at everybody, man. Y'all have a good night wherever you at. And uh, come back through, man, and get back on the stream with me. All right. I'm going to holler at y'all later, man. Y'all take it easy.